Hey everybody, Jeremy Weiss here with Weiss Tech Hockey, and in this video I've got a really cool drill that was actually sent to me by a hockey coach by the name of Jan Bednar out in Slovakia. Um, Jan sends me drills every once in a while. They're always really good. They're exactly my style, you know, European flow, timing, all that good stuff, and I really like the drills he sends me, so I appreciate it, and I really like this one. Um, the drills he sends me, usually all the explanations everything are in Slovakian, so I had to rename it, so I'm calling this one the Slovakian three pass and shot drill and uh, it's a great one so let's go ahead we'll pull up the wrinkle I'll show you what we've got going on um, this drill has you start with four lines as you can see um, there's a line that starts at the about the top of the circles here with pucks and then a line um, at the at the red line now these two lines are going to be going together and they actually start facing each other same exact thing is happening on the opposite side of the rink um, I'm only going to drop one side of the drill just so you can see um, and then we've got, as you can see, it's kind of hard to see here, but we've got cones at the dots here. So here's how the drill starts. What you're going to do is uh, these guys start with a puck. Very first thing they do is throw a pass out to the first player in the line that's directly across from them. The player who receives the pass is going to take a couple strides in. So nothing crazy, just a couple strides in and then fire that pass right back to the original player. So the player that passes the initial pass doesn't move until he or she gets the pass back. So let's draw that in. Okay, so it's a quick pass out, two steps in, quick pass back. Now, after the pass back has been made, then what's gonna happen, we're gonna go like this, um, this player who made that pass is now, in fact, I'm going to do this a little, yeah, we'll go like this. The player who makes the first pass is going to go and we're going to go like this. He's going to continue on and take a loop around the circle, okay? So I'm going to get the pen tool out here. We can just keep this line going. So he's going to take a loop around the circle and basically time it so that he or she is skating back towards this player, and I'll show you what this player is going to be doing, um, as this player is ready to make the pass. So that is the, the general direction. Let me show you what this player is doing, uh, and then you can see how this drill kind of will all come together. So after this player receives the puck back, then um, he or she will do some sidestep crossovers with the puck. Okay. Let's make this a straight line. So sidestep cross, this is lateral skating. So this is a little bit of agility. Lateral skating across the top of the circle, okay? As soon as he or she gets to the top of the circle, then this player will pivot out. Okay, so make a quick turn, pivot towards the end boards, pivot out. I'm just gonna make this a little bit of a tighter pivot. Step up ice. I'm going to rotate that a tiny bit. So we're in the right spot there. Okay. And feed a hard stick to stick pass out to the player who made, made the initial pass back. So hard stick to stick pass. Boom. Then this player is going to take and pivot up ice. Probably guessed by now and turn around the cone, come all the way in for a shot. Boom. So that's the initial drill. So quick pass out, two steps in, quick pass back, sidestep crossovers, facing up ice, then pivot out of it. It's almost like an escape maneuver. Um, by then, this player should have come up and around and is ready to receive that pass. Boom, pass comes out, pivot around the cone, drive wide, take a shot. You can designate whatever shot you want the players to be working on as a coach, but I always like to say snapshots, top of the circle, shoot with your feet moving. Those are the most game-like, uh, game situation-like types of shots. And those are the ones I always like the players working on. Now, there is another option on this drill I'm going to show you right now, that uh, once your players get this phase of it down, you can add add to it and make it into a two or into a one-on-one -on -one uh, type of drill. So here's what we're going to do with that. I'm going to get rid of this shooting arrow. The same, the drill starts exactly the same way. 
pass out, pass back, sidestep crossovers, etc., etc. Um, once this pass is made and this player turns, now what's going to happen is we're going to go like this. So let me just make sure I do this right. So this player, instead of turning up ice and taking a shot, now is going to pivot around that cone, same as usual, but then um, we're going to loop continuing on below the blue line, okay? And we're going to turn up ice like this, okay? As this is happening, the player who made the, the pass, so at this point you could probably designate these guys need to be defensemen and these players need to be forwards, right? So once that defenseman makes that pass, um, he or she is going to have to book it, get up ice, close the gap, right? And then maintain a tight gap through that turn and, sorry, select the right one here, and then pivot and then back up playing that two on one, or sorry, playing that one on one. So really cool variation. This drill works really, really well. I really enjoy it. It's high tempo, quick pace, and there are a lot of variations you can do with it, obviously, um, one on O or turn it into a one on one as the play progresses. So that is your Slovakian three pass and shot drill. And uh, you can go visit us at weisstechhockey.com to pick up your, um, we have the, the PDF printout of this, or you can also get it as a drill draw file or a hockey shirt file. So three different ways that you can use this in your practice plans. Um, just click the link in the description and you'll be taken straight to the post that contains the printouts.